welcome to this week's video tutorial. Today I would like to show you how the advanced pie chart works. The advanced pie chart component was newly introduced in version 6.4.0 of Instant Atlas Desktop and gives us a possibility to show a breakdown of your data for one particular geography feature. The advanced pie chart can be set up in two different modes and I would like to give you a quick overview over both of them. The first, and also the default method, is that the advanced pie chart displays the data for all indicators of the currently selected theme. This is how this first example report is set up. As you can see, we have a theme called religion, and in this theme, several indicators showing how many people belong to the different religions. I can change the indicator to see the data for a different religion in the map. However, it doesn't matter which indicator is selected, the advanced pie chart will always show me a breakdown of all indicators of this theme for the area I hover or select. The area name is displayed above the chart. Once I have selected one area and I hover over another one, I can see the breakdown of this other area in the second chart for comparison. If I select the second area as well, by holding down the control key, the second chart will stay filled with the data of the second selected area. When I move my mouse pointer over one of the slices of the chart, a tooltip appears showing me the indicator name, in this case the name of the religion, the map value in brackets underneath, which is the number of people belonging to this religion, and the percentage of this indicator out of the total number of people in this area. You can see from this example that it is important that the data of your indicators add up to a logical total. Otherwise, the slices and the percentages of the advanced pie chart would not be sensible. Now, let's have a quick look behind the scenes of this report. And I do this by opening the config file with the Instant Atlas Designer. By default, the advanced pie chart components is not included in the report layout. Usually, the time series chart sits in the place of the advanced pie chart. Via the insert menu, however, um, the advanced pie chart was included into the layout. And the time series chart got deleted, since there is no time series data in this example report. Besides adding the component to the layout, the settings of the advanced pie chart are left to the default values. The important property is the data source property which has to be indicator for this mode of the advanced pie chart. I will explain a few of the other settings when we have a look at the second example. The second mode of the advanced pie chart is to show associated values of the selected indicator. You can see an example for this in the second report. Here we have a theme with just one indicator, which is total population. And this is also the data I see in the map. The data table shows additional columns here, next to the indicator value, which contain the number of people belonging to the different age groups. These columns are called associate columns because their values cannot be seen in the map. However, here the advanced pie chart is set up to use these associated values to display the breakdown of the different age groups. Again, I'm going to open up the config file of this second report now in the designer and have a look at the settings of the advanced pie chart. Takes a while to load. Now it is there. The data source property is here set to associate. And for the advanced pie chart to work in this mode, I also need to define which associates I wish to be part of the breakdown. This is done in the property list of associates to use. The values here need to be exactly the same as you define them in your Excel workbook. To check this, I will quickly open up the Excel workbook that I used to create the data.xml file. And here you can see the associate names, and these are exactly the same as the names that I defined here in the designer. Now these names are quite short and maybe not very explanatory, 
For this reason, I defined alias names, which appear in the legend of the advanced pie chart. This is purely optional. If you are happy with the associate names of your actual workbook, you can simply leave this property empty. As you can see, there are a couple of additional settings here. So you can, for example, set the layout of the two charts to be vertically instead of horizontally, in case that fits the report layout better. You can also define if you want the charts to be filled only if you select an area in the map, only if you hover an area in the map, or both. If you do not need a second chart for comparison, you have the option to not include it. And finally, you can define some text which appears above the chart when no map feature is hovered or selected. So for example, I can write here select word for break down. And I copy the same text also into the chart to text. If I now save my config file and I refresh my browser window, I will be able to see this text in the chart in a couple of seconds. Yeah, here it comes up now over the chart in the place where the area value will be when I select the map feature. I hope this little video has given you an idea how the advanced pie chart works and how you could use it for your own data. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact the support team on support at geowise.co.uk.